Hello, my name is Taylor and I'm going to be showing you how to use Venmo, how to categorize Venmo transactions in Monarch Money. Uh, some of the complaints is that there's a duplicate transactions or it might just be a little confusing on how you can very quickly categorize things inside Monarch. And so I'm gonna show you kinds of some rule of thumbs on how to use Venmo in Monarch Money. It's an amazing feature that they've added that you can uh, see all your transactions inside Venmo, but it is also optional to use. Uh, for example, if you don't do a lot in Venmo or if when you do, use Venmo, you're immediately transferring it out into your uh, bank account and there's like maybe one or two transactions during the month, I wouldn't bother connecting your Venmo. It's just one of those things that is just a little bit of a headache and I don't think it's necessary. Um, but, and, that, and that's how I use it too, because I don't use Venmo. I use it in maybe one or two transactions a month, but that's about it. So if you don't want to add your Venmo, that is totally fine. But if you're using it fairly regularly, like your multiple transactions in a week, you're going to want to connect your Venmo, but there's some things you need to know um, to make sure that it is being categorized correctly in your budget and you're not missing transactions so that your budget looks better than it actually is. All right, so what you are seeing in Venmo in your transactions tab is you're normally gonna see two transactions. One of them is a, a transfer, one of them might be uh, a transfer to your bank account. And this can get a little confusing. So what I've had to do in this demo account is that I'm not gonna connect my Venmo because I don't have a lot of transactions in there, so I wouldn't really show you anything. So I had to just manually do a Venmo account. You're gonna see the Venmo uh, thing here. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to go to add your account. You're going to go to uh, just type in Venmo here to find the Venmo and then go ahead and connect this for you. Uh, once you connect it, again, you're gonna see that little uh, blue V there and it's gonna be at your actual Venmo account connected for right now in these purposes. I just had to do this manually to show you uh, and demonstrate this. So inside your Venmo account, you're gonna see all of your transactions. Uh, there's going to be transfers to your bank account because your Venmo is really just a facilitator, right? It is moving, your Venmo is an account that you own. And so when you move money to and from Venmo, it is going to be considered a transfer. When the money goes out to the person you're sending them to or reimburse, you're getting the reimbursement for the, from the person you are sending it to, uh, you need to make sure those are categorized because that is external. It is either new money coming into your, you know, your control or money leaving your control. And so in your transactions, it can be a little confusing. For example, as you can see here, um, I transferred $15 of my Venmo balance. It was just chilling there and I wanted to use it. So I'm going to transfer $15 out of my Venmo. Well, what happens in my transactions is you're going to see it duplicates kind of. You're going to see that transfer from out of my Venmo. And if you click on this, you can see this one is in my Venmo account. And you're going to see the tr same amount coming into my Venmo or into my checking account. Okay. And so that these are correctly categorized as a transfer. Now your bank account is almost always uh, going to show your Venmo transactions as just Venmo. It's just gonna say Venmo, it's gonna have these transactions, whether it's going out or in. Um, and so if you don't have your Venmo account connected, this is really easy for you. What you need to do if you do not have your Venmo account connected to Monarch, you need to make sure that these are not labeled as transfers because they're not transferring to your Venmo because your Venmo is not connected to this. So this does not apply. The rest of the video will not apply to you. Um, if you do not have your Venmo account connected, you need to categorize this. So if you were reimbursed for something, say $15, you need to put it in the category that the original charge came from. So if you're getting reimbursed for a brunch or a gift or a concert tickets, whatever it is for you, or some, you know, you need to categorize it in the same tr category as the reimbursement is coming from. Preferably not income because then when you're looking at your year's worth of income, it's going to inflate that number when really you just got a reimbursement and it reduced that expense, not necessarily as new income to use. It's that's a uh, philosophical difference, but so, so make sure if you if you do not have your Venmo connected, all transactions you need to make sure you change them from transfer to something else. In fact, when I don't have my Venmo connected, I for my clients when I get their and their account set up and they don't want to connect Venmo, I set up a rule so that all Venmo transactions come in automatically as uncategorized and it alerts me to and I set up the rule uh, for it to tell me it needs to be reviewed. Otherwise, the standard, what they're what Monarch is going to do is put it as a transfer and then I'm never going to recognize this expense or income and so my budget can be very inflated. If you send Venmo out for $500, um, it's going to tell you you saved $500 because it never recognized that transfer. So again, that is if you do not have your Venmo connected. Now, that if you do have your Venmo connected, if you have your Venmo connected to Monarch, 
almost all of the Venmo transactions in your checking account that is connected to Venmo will be a transfer. And so the rule of thumb when I'm telling my clients to when they're looking at their transactions is if it says Venmo, then it is transfer. That is a rule of thumb. It is not always the case. I'm not sure what the difference is every once in a while. This is not true. Um, and uh, and inside, and I'll show you, show you what I mean by that. But generally, if it says Venmo, that means it is because it's coming into or out of your checking account and it will always be a transfer, okay? So the, this same with, you know, if it says standard transfer to bank, you know that's a transfer. It was moving money from your Venmo to your bank account. Now, the things that are not transfers, for example, this one, you're going to see a merchant. You're going to see the person that you paid. In, my, in this case, it was Luna. I paid, or Luna paid me, um, some paid me back for when we went out to eat, right? Um, and what's nice is that you can see the little, uh, what, whatever she put in the uh, Venmo uh, notes when she sent you the funds uh, is going to show up right here. So whatever you put between your friends is actually going to show up in your Monarch account. So just as an FYI there, um, but she wrote too much butterbeer. Okay, so that's how I can kind of differentiate what is this transaction. It was money coming in. It was a reimbursement. So I put it as a reimbursement for the charge that I have on my card for restaurants. Um, not as income, not as a transfer. Okay, so if I scroll down to another transaction here, for example, this one is, um, there's two, you'll first see there's Venmo. So I know that because it says Venmo, it's a transfer. And I know that because if I click on this, it's coming out of my checking account. And any Venmos coming out in and out of my checking account are gonna be labeled as transfers because it's just moving money from my checking account into the Venmo. Um, that is always the case, it'll always be a transfer unless you ha do not have your Venmo account connected which we talked about at the beginning of the video, but we're right now we're, if you have your Venmo connected, everything coming in and out of your checking account is going to be a transfer. The money that came out to Fred uh, for a gift, right? I have the little note that I sent to him. I let him know what the money was for. I categorized it in my, um, in my budget correctly, and that money went out to someone else, and that is an expense. So now it's showing $90 in expense. The transfer came from my bank account so that I could pay Fred the $90, okay? And so you're gonna, um, if we just scroll down a little bit, I'll show you the next example I put in here. So the next one is, let's see. So I went out with uh, these two people and they paid me back for a couple things, okay? I got reimbursed. So I'm gonna put the category as whatever I was being reimbursed for, whatever the original charge was. Um, those are what's coming in and out of my Venmo account. And you can see this by clicking on that little carrot I, um, and seeing, oh, it came from my Venmo, so I know I need to categorize this. Now I have two transactions right here. One is this one right here that is moving money from my Venmo because I collected money. I want to put that back in my checking account. So I sent money from my Venmo to the tune of $220. So that's why my Venmo is a debit. It's decreasing the value of my de uh, inside my uh, Venmo. And then you'll see Venmo. If it says Venmo, it's a transfer. If it says Venmo, it's a transfer, rule of thumb. If it says Venmo, it's a transfer. Because if I click on this, it is coming out of my checking account. If it is coming, if a Venmo is coming in and out of my checking account and my Venmo is connected to Monarch, it is a transfer and that is the rule of thumb. So as you're just scrolling through, you can just very, very confidently say, well, if it's a person, then I know I need to categorize it. If it says Venmo, I need to mark it as a transfer. If it says transfer, I need to mark it as a transfer. You can also do this in your bank accounts and that might also be something that's easier for you. If you click on the, um, the checking account, you know that everything related to Venmo is going to be listed as a transfer. If I go into my Venmo, I can kind of see more what was going on month to month or you know, transaction to transaction. So one, I can see money went into and out of my uh, checking account by this standard right here, but any of the ones with names telling me who the money went to or who it came from needs to be make sure you are categorized. Um, a lot of these might come in as just transfers and then you would never recognize that income or expense and that would be very bad for your budget. Another trick that I'm making sure my clients do, especially if you, um, whether or not you have Venmo or not, is just if you, so if you don't have Venmo, going back to actually, if you do not have Venmo, um, something that you wanna make sure, if you do not have your Venmo account connected, you're gonna wanna type in Venmo here and just make sure all the Venmos into and out of are actually categorized. And again, this is only if you do not have your Venmo account connected. If you do, when you type in Venmo, you should always see these as transfers. Now, again, I told you that there is an exception to this rule. Sometimes 
these will be labeled as Venmo. And I don't know what the difference is. Like it doesn't say the person it sent to, and I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe I misunderstood. Maybe I'm misreading something in my client's accounts. I don't know. But um, if you, the other rule of thumb is like, if it says Venmo and, and it is in your checking account, it is a transfer. If it says Venmo and it also comes from your Venmo, it may need to be categorized. And that's just something for you to make sure is it just asking yourself, is this money that moved to my bank account? If so, it's transfer. If it's money that moved and touched my bank account, it's transfer. If it went out of my sphere of control to someone else or into from something else, um, that needs to be categorized as something other than transfers because transfers do not show up on your cash flow. That will never affect your income or expenses and then you won't have a good idea of what you're actually spending or saving. This is the same thing with PayPal. If you have your PayPal connected, it might do the same thing. I don't have a lot of clients that have PayPal um, connected, but with Zelle, Zelle is also going to be treated as a transfer. So when you type in Zelle, because that's normally how it shows up, it's just, it just shows a Zelle rather than like in Venmo. And of course I don't have any right now, but if you type that in and you see all your Zelle transactions, these cannot be labeled as transfers. They're going to be automatically labeled because Monarch sets them up to be, and I'm not sure why, um, but they need to set up a rule to make those uncategorized when they come in. Zelle equals uncategorized, so you can make sure you put in your Zelle. Same with PayPal. If you don't have your PayPal connected, type in PayPal to see what is coming in and out and make sure that those are also not transfers because those are money coming out, generally speaking. Um, they're not normally moving just from your bank, especially Zelle. Zelle is almost never transfer. I haven't seen that yet. Um, and then same with checks. If you're paying with anything with check, if you type in check number, um, right there. And of course, again, nothing's in here because I don't have any transactions with that. But if you type in check number, it should pull up all the checks. Checks are also automatically labeled as transfers. That would not be the case because you sent money such as a check out to someone else. And so you just want to make sure and to maybe double check just as a rule of thumb for anything that is and is not a transfer. Instead, what you want to do is come here, go into categories, go all the way down to your transfers and maybe do this for transfers and credit card payments. But if you click on transfers, oh, and let's go ahead and click on credit card payments. What you just wanna make sure is that all of these are actually transfers. If you're seeing something on here that is not a transfer, fix it to make sure it's a categorized, otherwise it will not show up in your cash flow report. So just to summarize as a reminder, if you're only doing like one or two transactions in Venmo a month, I wouldn't bother connecting the Venmo account. It just adds a little bit more complexity than I think is necessary. If you are doing multiple transactions in a week, I would absolutely connect your Venmo and just follow those instructions on those rules of thumbs of whether something is a transfer or not. Uh, and please let me know if you have any questions. How are you using Venmo? How are you uh, monitoring your transactions when your Venmo categorizations come up? And is, is it helpful to have your Venmo connected? Let us know so other people can kind of get an idea of whether or not they want to connect their Venmo. So leave those co uh, leave comments uh, in this video. And please, again, let me know if you guys have any other questions or what videos I can make for you to help you uh, be successful with your Monarch Money uh, budget. So thank you so much and talk to you soon.